Well, if you're just tuning in, firefighters are tackling a major blaze at a multi-storey building in central Sydney. At least 50 people, but it would be hundreds and hundreds of people are understood to have been evacuated from the buildings around the fire as it burns through multiple levels of the building on Randall Street in Surrey Hills, Surrey Hills near Central Station. Large plumes of smoke are billowing into the air. Neighbouring streets have been blocked off. We're going to stand by to take you to a live press conference by the New South Wales Fire and Rescue Service in the moment. I can also tell you that a car next to the building has caught on fire. Cars parked beneath the buildings have been lost, consumed by blames, bla consumed by flames. At least 50 people were evacuated from the central building and smoke is billowing over much of the CBD. Trains are still running despite the proximity to the, to the blaze. I can tell you that there has been a major fire that people were not notified. They were not sent text message sent text messages in the neighbouring buildings or in the suburb. They looked outside their office building windows, noticed the large flames from the building and themselves made the decision to evacuate. This has been a huge blaze, the biggest blaze that we've seen in Sydney CBD in many, many years. And we're going to go live right now to the scene. We're bringing in Caroline Marcus, Sky News reporter. Uh, Caroline, what is unfolding on the ground now? Is the blaze under control? Well, it seems like it's not quite under control, Shari, but it, it, the flames have come down since some of the scenes that we saw earlier, some dramatic pictures that had come in from the newsroom. Uh, witnesses reported an absolute eruption just after 4 p.m. here in Surrey Hills in the inner city of Sydney, right, right very close to the CBD. And I know you can't feel it where you are, but where I am, it, it, it is so smoky. Even driving here in the car with the windows up, uh, you, you started to feel the suffocating sense uh, of, of the smoke in the area and it is just so heavy in the air here and these almost dystopian scenes as people leave the buildings, they've been evacuated from nearby buildings here and surrounding the vicinity of this fire. Now, just after four o'clock, there were multiple triple zero calls to emergency services with reports that this abandoned building had erupted in fire on Rundle Street. Uh, more than 100 uh, fire and rescue crews were sent here from 20 fire trucks and multiple fire stations where they worked and are continuing to work to put out this blaze. Now, we don't believe that anyone was inside the building at the time. At least we hope that not to be the case, although witnesses have reported that it has been used um, by squatters. Uh, uh, people who were in neighbouring buildings and in the vicinity. Uh, at least 50 people were evacuated. Uh, I spoke to a witness earlier who described what she saw when she came off a train at the nearby Central Railway Station. The flames just went poof really quickly. The whole building just became involved with fire. It went whoosh and we could hear all of these exploding sounds and things going bang and pop and poof and bits of glass and and building materials and corrugated iron smashing onto the ground and falling from the sky and embers. We're wondering, what's happening? What's happening? Because it didn't seem that people were really aware of what was going on and people were kind of standing there in the silence and going, my God. Um, and that's when there was the residential building next door and people were kind of coming out of their building onto the balcony and go, oh, what's going on? And we were yelling at them, get out, get out, evacuate, there's a fire. Because people were really bewildered. Shari, we have already seen the inside of the building collapse. Uh, the external walls are looking very shaky, like that could happen at any point. And we are just standing by here for a press conference to be held by Fire and Rescue shortly with an update on what's happening. There have been reports that the fire, and we don't know the cause of it at this stage, started on the third floor of the seven-level building and emergency crews are urging people to stay away from the area, Shari.